What's going on Calumet New Tech? My name is Justin Schaefer, also known as Mr. Fascinate. Huge thanks to Calumet New Tech faculty for allowing me the opportunity to share this message with you guys. So I am 25 years old right now, and that puts me about seven, eight years ahead of most of you guys. And that's not that much time. Time flies, man. I can actually vividly remember exactly what was on my mind when I was crossing the stage for commencement at you guys' age. One of the first things that was on my mind was this girl, right? She lived on the other side of town, and I just remember thinking, dang, she's so fine. And <laughs> I was struggling because I was going to school in Virginia from Chicago, and I was wondering, should I stay in a relationship, or should I figure out something new? I gotta do something different here. And that was a big, big struggle for me at that time. I also remember really feeling like I was a baller when I graduated because I just got a job as a camp counselor. I was making minimum wage, working 60 hours a week. And man, I was like, it can't get much better than this. But I also remember feeling afraid because during that time, as I said, I was moving from Chicago to Virginia for school. And I was pursuing this really weird thing, this inner voice of mine that was telling me, pursue a career in science, become a scientist. And that was such a strange dream to have at that time because growing up in Chicago, no one around me really told me that a scientist was something that I could be. I didn't really see any clear role models as scientists or people in STEM careers that made this possible for me. And I didn't really get out that much. You know, I was raised by a single parent. We didn't have a lot of vacations or times to explore what was out there in the world. So everything was just so new to me. But looking back on that experience, that I had at the ripe old age of 18, I think that choice, that decision that I made to listen to my inner voice and really figure out what that inner voice was telling me is probably one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. Here's why. My career in science presented me with all of these amazing opportunities to do all these incredible things. Guys, for the past few years, I've been in places like the Bahamas, Dubai, Australia, California, New Jersey, I live in New York City now. I've lived in all these amazing places and gotten paid because I followed the dream that I had. I listened to that voice that told me science is probably what you're passionate about. Now the cool thing about you guys being as young as you are is that you all have this opportunity to kind of have a little science experiment of your own. You know, being as young as you are, you can try this thing, try that thing, and even if you have a couple of missteps, you have plenty of time to reorient yourself and get back along the path, figure out what that voice is telling you. And that is the incredible thing about being young, guys. You're about to embark on this journey where you have a completely clean slate. You don't have to listen to any of the things that were told that you should be doing in the past. Now is the time to transition out of fitting in, which is a thing that a lot of us used to do in high school, into standing out. Now, every single day, I am privileged to say that I get to do what I love and get paid as a sustainable career path because I listened to that inner voice that was telling me, this is what you should be doing, even though no one else was telling me that. Within each of you all, Calumet New Tech, there is a voice that's telling you something. Really take the time, now that you're becoming a full-fledged adult, to explore that voice, to listen to it, to trust it, and use it to follow your passion. Calumet New Tech Class of 2020, I wish you all an amazing graduation and best of luck with your future endeavors.